If you're wondering, how is Kyle going to follow talking about killing himself and then spiritually creating a word that has four numbers in it? Like, how do you match that? Well, the answer is by doing what I do best, and that is taking a normal English word that has some problems with it and improving that word while integrating poop in some way. Uh, that's just what I do, I guess. I'm pretty good at it. I don't really know. Uh, we're doing that today. So the word I'm going to be changing is actually busy. And I got a little bit of beef with busy because it's not an intuitive word. That's my main gripe with it. Because you cannot tell me if you were spelling busy, you would not choose an I as that initial vowel. Like a U there? A U? Absolutely should have been an I. Just disgraceful. You want to use an I there, but it's a U. Also, a perfect opportunity for a Z. Just disrespectful to choose not to use a Z in this scenario. So I got beef with that as well. One of the final problems with the word busy is when you start adding on to it and there's some conjunctions. For example, yesterday I sent a text that included the word busyness and I ended up having to readjust all that because it's spelt the exact same way as business if you are trying to adhere to the normal rules of the English language, which often contradicts itself, and it does in this case. So even though you may want to spell it as business when you're going with busyness, you're going to be incorrect that way, and your message won't get across exactly right in most scenarios. So that's our beef with busy. What I'm going to be changing it to is gashidudu, because naturally... If you are busy, what do you have? You got shit to do, you know? And so my approach was to just kind of try merging all three of them. And it sounded pretty good right away when I pulled that out. It was gashidu. I'm like, okay, that's promising. But then I realized I could double down on this shit. <laughs> Straight up number two with the number two, dog. So I'm like, okay, gashidu is good. We've got got shit and do in there but if i add another do at the end that makes do do so there's shit and do do to end the word double deuce perfect efficiency of adding unnecessary shit into a word but it's still being kind of fun and i went with two o's of the do do portion of this because it just clarifies some pronunciation things because Two O's is basically always making the oo sound, as it would in do, but sometimes the one O can make that same sound like it does in do, and I just wanted to make sure it was super clear. Double O's for doo-doo, and uh, yeah, that's what we got. Gosh, a doo-doo is our new word for busy. Busy can never be spoken by me in a Whippy Thoughts video ever again. You should know the rules by now. And I gotta say, lately I have been super gosh a doo-doo, and I've predict that is going to continue because I just keep adding daily responsibilities to all the things that I'm trying. Because we've got the daily do, we've got work a lot of time, we've got this exercise, and yeah, I'm just, I'm starting to put a lot on my plate, and I almost was going to get a puppy that I was going to try to raise by myself too, while also trying to lose all this weight while also uploading a video every day, while also working a full-time job. So I was going to be real gosh and doo-doo, but I was able to have the wherewithal to just not add another big responsibility. But I was pretty close. Probably going to get a pet anyway, but that's kind of where we're at. Anyway, before I ramble too much, because I am also very tired and just had an extremely gosh and doo-doo day where I was going on probably three hours of sleep the entire time, I think it's time for me to wrap this up so I can actually sleep. Let's move on to our song and video of the day. Song of the day is The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar. So happy to be saying that. He just dropped this last night on 858 One Day, and this song is super sweet. I would also recommend watching the music video. It's really engaging and interesting. Not a whole lot of scene changes, but... Kendrick Lamar's face sure changes because he's got all these different deep fakes going on, showing off different icons in the, oh god, 
Yumdu and Tua Koflo, I guess I have to say that now. Oh lord, that one's super different now. <laughs> but it felt really good to hear some new Kendrick, and this song seems like somewhat of a masterpiece. Got a lot of different flows kind of going on throughout, and it's exciting to me. Then for the video of the day, it's kind of a catch-up video of the day in a way, because it's referring to a never rinse that I always make of necessary. And I did mention that in the creation of Never Rinse, but I wanted to add this to the video of the day because it's a hilarious dodgeball clip that I quote all the time. Very good, very entertaining. Uh, I want to sleep, so bye. Maybe that should be the new outro. Uh, that sounds pretty sick. Okay, Kyle, just turn off the recording. <laughs>